Yo guys, what is going on? JPS back with another video, and today we're going to be reacting to Hugh Laurie on the Graham Norton Show. Hugh Laurie is someone who I was introduced to through Blackadder, which we react to on Patreon. First, link a description to join, along with other shows and movies. I thought he played his part really well throughout the different seasons in Blackadder, and I think he's a great actor. So, become a you know pretty good fan of Hugh Laurie. And of course, the Graham Norton Show, which is a credit to all of you for pushing me to... You know, start reacting to it. It's something I've, I've really begun to enjoy. So I'm excited for this video. Make sure you guys hit the like button, hit subscribe, and let's get right into it. Hey, it's time to music. You might be surprised. I'm about to introduce the world's most successful TV actor. Star of House, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Hugh Laurie! <laughs> What do we got there? It's just water. Yeah, it's just you water. Want oh, did you not get a drink? I asked for vodka. If that, if that's. Uh... Yeah, that, that's, the that's, the that's the one. That's the one. So here you are, musician. <laughs> I'm Irish. I'm Irish. I find it difficult. Yes. <clears throat> um, not as difficult as I do, I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> because the Let Them Talk, which I believe has the highest pre sales on iTunes of any album ever. Wow. wow. That's true. This man is an artist, too? I didn't even know that part of him existed. I just thought he was an actor. I might have to listen to some Hugh Laurie. I, that sounds incredibly unlikely to me, but I'm not going to be the one to contradict you, because why would I do that? Exactly. It's not in my interest, I'm is bigging it? it up. Yeah. Was that, a, <laughs> that was a joke? Usually, people have been a bit surprised that kind of British actor has done an authentic oh. blues album recorded in New Orleans. Well, I don't know. You are one of those people. So I'm surprised. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, Anyone I, else I, surprised? I, I'm, a, I'm a little surprised. I'm a, I'm a little surprised. She's a little surprised. <laughs> well, well, well yeah, good. <laughs> um, yes, possibly. I don't really know. The whole thing is such a dreamlike experience for me. I can't really tell. Um, I'm looking forward to reading about it in, about, in five years' time when I will, you know, it'll all sort of seem real. Well, cause, I mean, was in, you love music because in, even in Friday Night you were always at the piano and everything. Yes, yes. But, I, uh, but is this kind of what you want to do now? It is what I've always wanted to do, actually, and... <laughs> Who was that? Absurd though it may seem. <laughs> um, it's, it's what I've always wanted to do, and, uh, of course, I've come to it by a, a, a rather odd route. Um, and, but I got this amazing opportunity to sort of reinvent myself, and I took it. Uh, with both hands. Uh, but you're gigging as well, you're gigging. Uh, we have done now three gigs, yes. Three of the most frightening experiences of my life. <laughs> but they, they went well, though, didn't they? They did go well. They yes. did go well. Uh, we've got one more uh, tomorrow night, Saturday, in Manchester, the Manchester Royal College. And then if you fancy a day out, uh, why not go to Paris on the 11th? Uh, right. <laughs> yes. Because, we, because we, what, we, I, what we I didn't... Be there. Because what I didn't know is that, that house in Europe is massive, isn't it? It is rather large. It is rather substantial. Yes. Um, I, I can't account for it I, because it seems to be such a wordy show, uh, such a sort of densely wordy show that I can't imagine how it gets translated uh, well enough. Um, I mean, shows where people, you know, which involve guns and, you know, get in the car or get out of the car or, you know, <laughs> that kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, that's the dialogue. I can, I can understand that going well in, in Belgium. For example, uh, I don't know why I picked on Belgium. In Bruges, um, and there are no Belgians here. No, there aren't. <laughs> but uh, um, you know, it's something, it's something like House, which is such a um, an idiomatic and, and and witty show. I think I think it's an, a, extremely funny, extremely well written. It, it's an it's amazing to me that people are prepared to. You know, they, they really sort of uh, get into it. Yeah. And are European fans more reserved than Americans, or are they...? We had a slightly frisky time in Germany. Uh, <laughs> the Germans were quite uh, assertive, how can I... Oh. Let me put it that way. I mean, I'm not, I'm not saying they could form to any national stereotype at all. <laughs> no, I'm not saying, because they really were charming and friendly. But if things don't go their way, I had to get on a train uh, to leave. Germany, and uh, there were a bunch of people with autographs, you know, and, and, and I said, look, I, I'm going to miss this train. If I stop doing, I'm going to miss the train. So they started tearing up the photographs and throwing them in my face. <laughs> <laughs> and saying, go back to England. 
<laughs> Yo! That, that's actually what I'm trying to do. <laughs> and then they... They would, uh... What I didn't realize, that the, 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 uh, the German word... Well, it's not a word. The German for boo is not boo. <laughs> when, when Germans boo, they go ooh. So I had people, after they'd done all that, and they, uh, they'd said all their German things, um, I was running for this train, and I, all I could hear was people going, ooh. <laughs> Makes you wonder, what am I? Uh, am I uh, and it was only when I got on the train and I realised that that's what they'd uh, been trying to communicate. And in America, are the, are the, are the, is the American audience? Because obviously we know, we know who you are. Oh yes, we, we know. know everything there yeah. is to know. Yeah. Uh, but in America, are they aware that you're a British actor? Uh, y yes, they are. They are by now. I've been doing it a long time. It's seven years now. It is a long time. And yeah. I've said it over. Over again. <laughs> uh, so yes, they, they by and large they are. Although the interesting assumption that America, that a lot of Americans will say in a kind way, they will say you managed to lose the accent, and I, it, which always strikes me, I have to sort of explain that I don't, I'm not losing an accent, I'm putting one on. <laughs> <laughs> You're the one with the accent. <laughs> yeah. and, and of course, but no country can think that way. Every country thinks that they yeah. were issued with a God <laughs> issued them with an accent, and everyone else is just putting it on. Does, does Robert, do you do you kind of speak in American accent all the time, or do you? I mean, becoming more so. I mean, it's weird, especially in America, because people can't like you. Literally, have to you, translate yourself sometimes. Especially in New York and things like that. If you if you're in a taxi and you try and say an address, you have to you have to say it in an American accent. It's crazy. You if you like, and if you order a water, if you say, "Can I have a glass of water?" They're like, "What?" Nice way of doing that. All right, bro, but it goes both ways. I had to translate myself when I was in the UK, too. So. Is that what they say? Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, even being American, you must have had a, a stronger southern accent. When yeah, you... I, I, had a, I had a super country accent like that. <laughs> oh. And I'm not, I'm not going to lie. I think my mother still really thinks that you're an American. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Wow. I think she actually thinks you're a real doctor, too. <laughs> <laughs> we're, about, we're about to hear some, uh, some music uh, from the, the album. What, what are you giving us? I'm going to do a song uh, with my uh, no way. chaps over there. Who are kind uh, of New Orleans all-stars, aren't they? These are, they are. These, these are these legends. Are, these, are, these are legends. And uh, it's my stupidity that I, I don't know. It sort of is. Yes, I feel so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a song called, uh, a lead belly song called You Don't Know My Mind. All right. Well, uh, if you want to go and get ready, uh, you very good. Uh, in a moment, uh, in a moment, we'll have this week's stories in the red chair. But first, singing uh, "You Don't Know My Mind." It is Mr. You. Hi. <laughs> Walking down the levee with my head hanging low Looking for my mama, but she ain't here no more Baby, you don't know You don't know my mind When you see me laughing, laughing Just to keep from crying She won't cook my dinner, won't wash my I know, I know, I know. They said it was a blues album, and and that registered with me. But it didn't fully register with me until I actually hear him. If I just can't believe this, I this is not a side of him that I knew existed. I only knew him as you know, the idiot in Blackadder, and now he's singing the blues. What is happening today? This is a weird day. My clothes won't okay. do nothing but walk the road, baby. You don't know. You don't know my it's pretty good. Mind. It's not bad at all. When you see me laughing, laughing just to keep from crying. Okay. My breakfast's on the table and my coffee's getting cold. Mama's in the kitchen getting sweet papa told. Baby, you don't know. You don't know my mind. When you see me laughing, laughing.
Sometimes I think my baby's too good to die. Sometimes I think she should be buried alive, baby. You don't know. You don't know my mind. When you see me laughing, laughing just to keep from crying. I wish I had a nickel. I wish I had a dime. your mama see what you okay. done you took my money now you broke and wrong maybe you don't know you don't know my mind when you see me laughing i'm laughing just to keep from crying Uh, by the way, that album that that's up, that May the 9th, I thought you'd uh, like to know. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> May the 9th. You, you. Uh, you could pre-order it, I hear. Yeah. Uh, now, uh, that's nearly it for tonight. But uh, before we go, just time for some stories in the red chair. You'll, this has become obvious as it goes along. Uh, who's up first? <gasps> Hello. Hello. Hi, hi, hi. I just want to ride my bike with you. That's lovely sentiment. <laughs> and what's your name? It's Megan. Megan? All right, where are you from, Megan? Brighton. Brighton. She's in Brighton. <laughs> Anyway, it went very well, Megan. Uh, okay, how's it going to story? Well, my first job was working in a nursing home. I was cleaning one of the residents' rooms, thought I'd hoovered up a sock, and it turns out I'd hoovered up their budgie. <laughs> New slang word. Let me know in the comments. We're going to have a lot of nasty comments now. You can't get down now. What the hell was that? Budgie's a little bird. Never mind. <laughs> what? I'd love to know what you thought it was. <laughs> Yo, her and I both thought the exact same thing. We're like, there's no way. That has to be some type of dirty word. Just from, like, the context and the way it was said. This this Graham Norton show is showing a lot of uh, versatility in the show. They, there's no way they did a live set. And then now they're having, like, these little guest appearances and stuff. Okay, okay, Graham Norton. Where did your mind go in that moment? <laughs> in the gutter. Oh, man and saw, I don't know. <laughs> oh! 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 That's a much worse story. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, quickly, quickly, quickly. Hello, <laughs> nice. <laughs> well, I thought they were here for you, Robert. <laughs> yeah. Apparently, it's this guy. Uh, <laughs> Who are you? Simon. This is Simon. Come on, do it again. But it would be, yeah, they're thrilled to see you. Uh, so, where are you from, Simon? Uh, from East Putney. East Putney! <laughs> East Putney Massive! <laughs> OK, uh, uh, Simon, yes, off you go. OK, when I was 10, my parents took me to a small farmer's house. <laughs> Australian? Anyway, we were going to a small farmer's sale and we took the youth there. And so nah, he's Australian. Word you are saying. He's Australian. 
She's Australian. Dad was looking for some animals and things to take home to our farm. And so anyway, him and mum spotted this new dining room table. And I was just wandering around in my in my jandals and you know, just checking out the stuff. Mum and dad spotted this table and chairs that they thought that's gonna be perfect in the dining room. We put it on the back of the ute and we're going home and us boys are sitting up, me and my two brothers sitting up on the back of the ute in the chairs, in the dining room table chairs. Dad thinks it's a big good idea. Oh, I know what we'll do. You boys want some ice cream out the back, you know? And so we're like, yeah, absolutely, we'll have ice cream. Next thing you know, we're all sitting there, licking our ice creams, sitting on the back. Dad decides, seeing a bit of Formula One, he'd like to take the corner, probably a bit quicker than he should have. Me on my chair, shh, bang, fall down on the road, like that. <laughs> Our website at this address. Thank you so much. <laughs> the hell was that outro, bro? <laughs> that outro was literally a drug commercial. Uh, may include symptoms of death, uh, disease, nausea, diarrhea. Blah, 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 blah. Except at like three times speed. But yeah, that was cool. Not really what I was expecting. I was kind of expecting a compilation of Hugh Laurie appearing on Graham Norton's show. Rather, we had a subsection of like an entire episode. So, I don't know. It was cool. I, I, I had no idea Hugh Laurie was a mu musician, so that's the most I got out of this. Let me know what you guys think of his music. Do you think it's garbage, or do you think he uh, he's doing some uh, some cool activities with that? I know Hugh Laurie's in a bunch of other things. Uh, namely, what I've heard a lot of is uh, Fry and Laurie, I believe. That was actually on one of our new show polls on Patreon. It didn't win. We got we're watching Now we're watching One Foot in the Grave and uh, The League of Gentlemen. But, uh, yeah, it was, it was a cool little episode there. So uh, thank you all for tuning in. Hit the like button, hit subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.